Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is tutorial 177. So we're just going to continue off from where we left off. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Unity, and we're just about to implement our little scaling bars. So let's go ahead and open up our scripts. And right off the bat, I realized I didn't actually name the script, and it was supposed to be character mesh scale. All right, so we're going to go down to our on GUI, and we're going to create a horizontal slider, uh, so the player can slide this bar, you know, left to right, and adjust the max width of our character or the current width of our character. Now we're going to need a variable to store this in, so I'll just go ahead and make a private variable. It'll be of type float, and I'm just going to call this width, and I'm going to start it off equaling one. Uh, and since it's the float, this is going to represent 100%. And I'll just come down here and put the variable. And we'll just tell it that it's going to equal the GUI dot horizontal slider. So when we start this off, the first thing we notice is it needs a rack position. Uh, I'm just going to make a new rack here. Ideally, you'd probably have it already created and just put the rect in here, a reference to that rect. But since I'm just prototyping out, I'm just going to quickly throw it in. So it wants to know where we should be on the left. Um, I'm just going to put it 10 from the side. Uh, I'll throw it down at the bottom, I guess. So we're going to go screen uh, height minus. Oh, let's take it 50 off the bottom. I'm going to want a width. I'm going to make it 300. And I'll just make it 20 high for now. And we'll make sure we put the right parenthesis in there. Now we want the float value. The float value will be the actual width. So the value that is displayed is the value that we're returning. And now we want the float left value, which is the min value. So we're going to start off with width. So I'm just going to copy this in. And the right value, which is our max value. So I'll just go ahead and copy that in. I'll close that off. I'll just save it. And I'm going to want to be able to send this to uh, our character mesh, our, play, our player model customization, so we can adjust the mesh. But let's go ahead into Unity, and I'm going to go ahead and add the script. I'm just going to throw it on our main camera for now. So when I select the main camera, I'm just going to turn off Detect Leaks for now. Uh, here it is right here. So I'm just going to start it up. Just take a look at the position. It's probably in a horrible spot. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to quickly move it over. Oh, I don't know. If it's 300, I'm going to move it 300 over more. Again, I'm just going to leave this for you to play around with to figure out exactly where you want it positioned. Uh, we've gone over positioning GUI elements before. Uh, but now that I know where it's positioned, I'm going to want to go ahead and go into my player customization I'm going to come up to the top and here's where we're storing our our actual scale for our model I'm actually going to go ahead and make this static and public so now our other script can actually access this and I'm going to go back to our character mesh model and in the update I'm actually going to call that uh, static vector 2 so it was player model customization dot scale and I'm going to have it equal new vector 2 and for the X position I am going to send in our width and we haven't done the height value yet so I'm just going to leave that at 1 and when we do the height value we'll just uh, go ahead and put it in there and just add a little bit of spacing so it's a little easier to read all right, so let's add the code that actually scales our character for us. So I'm going to come down to my update. And right after this if block, I'm going to want to see if I actually have a reference to a character model yet. And I'm storing that up here in our character mesh variable. So I'll just come down here and say 
if character mesh equals null, which means we do not have a reference, I'll just return. So if we don't return, that means we actually do have a reference to it, which will mean that character mesh dot transform dot local scale. And now this takes a vector three, so we're gonna have to say equals new vector three. And we're just gonna say scale dot x scale dot y and for the z we'll say scale dot x as well and we'll just close that off and uh, that should be everything we need there um, let me just go quickly check over here uh, I'm just gonna quickly throw a comment in here adjust the width of our character and let's go try that out we'll let it compile see if we have any errors we do not uh, I'll just clear it and we'll start it up and of course here's my little slider and I'm starting it off at 1 and our values were 150 and 0.8 so it actually doesn't really look that good in this view we're probably really not going to know until we actually go into game and start playing uh, let's rotate them and of course if these values aren't good uh, we can always come back and change these but there we go we can now scale them on the X so we'll stop that so let's go back into our script and let's go ahead and scale on the Y since we have X and Z done uh, so we'll just create another private uh, float <laughs> and we'll just call this one height and I'll start it off at 1 which is 100% and we'll do a vertical slider for this one so we'll just say height is equal to gy dot uh, I believe it's called vertical slider yes it is and I'm actually just going to cut and paste this in since it's almost the exact same. We'll have to change the values, but the structure will be the same. So new rect, and I'm going to move it over to uh, the far right of the screen. So we'll just say screen dot width. Uh, we'll say minus 50. So we'll just move it 50 off of the right hand side. Uh, screen height. Um, I'm not really sure where I want this, so I'm just going to say 10 from the top for now. Uh, let's make it 50 from the top. I'll make it 300. Oh, sorry, I don't want it 300 wide. I want it 20, right, 20 wide, and we'll make it 300 long. And the variable we'll be passing in, or we want returned and passed in, is height. And we're going to want min height and max height. And we're going to go ahead and take our height variable and we'll pass this in here as well. So let's save that off. We'll go back into Unity, let it recompile. There should be no errors. We'll just hit clear. We'll start it up and we should have a little bar over here. Now, we're going to have to make this quite a bit smaller because, uh, well, it overlaps. We don't want that. But here we go. Let's rotate them a bit. Uh, it seems that some of my more extreme values are a little off, but I'll wait till I'm actually in game before I start playing around with those. They're just starting values for now, so I'm going to quickly just move this up a bit. So I don't want it. To... Well, if we move it up to 10, uh, let me just check that. Does it still overlap? Uh, it doesn't so I'm just gonna leave it there for now and I'll style it later uh, let's try switching models and if you notice it actually did scale the model accordingly let's stop it uh, we'll start with our default values it might even be nice to stick a reset button in here but uh, if we switch right away yeah uh, let me just test the height one more time with the character model and make sure his feet are not going through the floor. 
and they're not. Great. Uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, we'll continue on in the next one. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.